Ah, hello, and welcome to the Freedom Show. This is the daily show featuring 10-minute practical, usable advice from amazing, heart-centered lifestyle entrepreneurs. It is not just about the money, it's about the freedom. I am Ryan Lee, your host, your coach, your teacher, your mentor, and the founder of Freedom.com, the leading online education platform for freedom-minded people just like you. If you want to receive a free special gift, just text the word freedom, that's spelled F-R-E-E-D-Y-M, to the number 33444. Now, today, we've got another special guest. We've got 10 minutes on the clock, and we've got Kimra Luna. Kimra has an amazing story, and she's gone from zero to like a $60,000 a month within I don't know, a few weeks like or months, like 12 weeks. It was unbelievable. She's a digital branding specialist. She does a ton of ways. She teaches how to build communities fast and build authority fast. So we are diving in today. If you want to learn more about Kimra, just go to her website. That's Kimra Luna, K-I-M-R-A-L-U-N-A dot com. Woo, that's a mouthful. Kimra, we got 10 minutes. Are you ready? Ready to go. All right, here we go. Give me your number one strategy on building authority Lightning fast. Lightning fast. Lightning is fast. Doing webinars. Uh, I love webinars. I started doing them from the day I started, and immediately everybody was just like, "Oh my god, you're an expert!" And I really think that my decision to do that straight out of the gate has what has been able to to help my brand grow so quickly. That's really interesting because most people are nervous and they, they think of webinars, you know, six months down the road, a year down the road. Yes, I, I did it straight out of the gate. I was like, you know what, like I, I want to do this fast and I, I do everything fast. I have family members, they call me Speedy Gonzalez because <laughs> I like to do everything fast and that was my whole entire goal. I was like, I got I to gotta do this and when I started my business, I was a few months in, I found out I was pregnant. So that made me want to go even faster because I was like, oh, my gosh, like once the baby's born, it's going to be so hard. I need to establish everything quickly. And so, so yeah, the webinars, I think, helped everything go so, so, so fast. So for someone looking to do their first webinar, what's the biggest piece of advice you can give them? Practice it a few times beforehand and that way you're not nervous about the technical stuff because that tends to be most people's nervousness is they're like, oh my gosh, like what if I get 100 people on and then it crashes? So practice the technical sides of it first before you just hop on there because or else you you lose authority if you're on there and you can't figure out where to click and things like that. People are just like, this person doesn't know what they're talking about. So right. you need to know the techie stuff. Now in terms of the technology, let's just talk tactical for a minute. Um, what webinar hosting, what service did you use then? And do you use something different now? I started off using Webinar Jam and I then switched to Easy Webinar. I prefer Easy Webinar, that's still my preference right now. Um, both of those use Google Hangouts to, um, to do the, the presentations. And I like that sort of style because people can see my face and then I can switch to the slides. And to me, I feel like it's more relatable to the community who is watching. So, um, so yeah, that's what I use. Okay. And for someone doing a webinar, um, do you recommend selling right out of the gate? And is that what you did? I know my first three months of doing webinars, I was not selling anything. And then I actually launched my signature program (laughs) three months after I started my business. My first launch, I made $60,000 in sales but I believe it's because I was just giving value, 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 value for like three months straight. I was doing webinars every week, and that's why my lo- first launch went so well. And since then, I've my second launch actually was a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar launch, um, which was only like about six months after that. Wow. So what's the what's the secret, Kimberly? So someone listening to this, uh, maybe they're starting off. Maybe they've been in business for a couple of months, a couple of years, and if they do a webinar, they get three people, five people, no people. Give me your number one tactic for filling up these webinars. The way that I started was with Facebook ads and I kept using Facebook ads. And then at the end of my webinars, I would get people to come into my Facebook group. And then in my group, I would ask people what they wanted to learn about. So then I would do webinars based off what they wanted to learn about. And because it's what they wanted to learn, they would show up. Hmm. So so the, the, the funnel, if you will, Facebook ads get them on the webinar, invite them to a free group, and from the free group, you then could promote your products and programs. Yes, yes. 
Okay. And follow up webinars. So um, they, I was teaching them what they wanted to learn. So they kept showing up. Yeah, and and obviously buying. I mean, it's a, yes, it's a very successful business. So now, now that you have them in the group, are there any really big strategies, big ideas, and tactics about community building? Because you've done a great job of building a community. Yes, my Freedom Hackers group now has 11,000 um, awesome entrepreneurs. Um, it's Freedom Hackers Mastermind if you guys want to check it out. And my whole strategy during my last launch was to get people into my group. Like I made a whole brand video that was all about my community. It wasn't about like selling my program or anything. It was just about me and my community and why I believe community is so important to entrepreneurship. And I would funnel people into my group. And then when... I had webinars that were coming up, I can more easily promote to them that are in my group because they were already getting lots of value and they're like, yeah, of course I want to hop on your webinar and check you out. So um, that was kind of like my my little funnel that I did during my launch was funnel them into my group, give them value in my group, then present them that I had a webinar coming up and then at the end of the webinar, pitch that my doors were open to my program. Now, how do, now here's the difficult thing I found to balance, and a lot of people have these challenges, especially if they're doing a free public group. Um, how do you balance between people, it turning into a free camera coaching group where all they're doing is asking you questions, like you launch a product about building community, and then they're like, well, I don't want to pay the 500 or $1,000. I just want to keep, quote unquote, picking your brain in this group. How do you decide what to answer, what not to answer? Um, how, do you make the, how do you balance that? Usually, I would just answer little tidbits here and there and then I refer them to my program but because my program now I only launch it once a year um, my group and my group has grown so big there's a lot of other people answering their questions Mm. so sometimes I'm not even necessarily there I'm kind of just like monitoring a little bit and then other people are answering their questions so it's not even necessarily me doing all of the work technically like I like it with when there's people who teach the same stuff I teach in my group because then I don't have to be there answering questions 24 7 Um, I also have two VAs who work um, for me and one of them her job is is specifically um, answering people's questions in the group my group gets lots of mostly technical questions Mm -hmm. you know like how do you set up a lead page how do you make your email order responders work like my, I get a lot of techie stuff in my group because that tends to be what I teach and she's totally knows all that stuff too so that's why I hi- hired her as a VA to to help me answer people's questions that that's, way yeah it's great so you're getting the support um, so, so now we've covered I, I look at you and your business and, and your skill set I see the three big things I see authority which we talked about with webinars I see community with your Facebook group now let's do the final component um, what's your big your, your kind of superpower, your big idea, your big strategy in terms of branding. Yeah, my big, big, big strategy in terms of branding is help having people feel like you over deliver every single time. I have like a saying that says like throw value around like confetti because I really believe that if you just keep giving and keep giving, you will get in return. And when I did, when previously to this business, I was actually in a network marketing company And someone had asked me to do a webinar for them. And I did a webinar. It was teaching everything about Pinterest because I was like a Pinterest junkie. And it was a wonderful webinar. But then afterwards, people were messaging me saying, like, you gave away too much content and, like, all this stuff like that. And that went against my whole beingness. Mm. And so I'm following what I believe and I truly believe that the more value you give, the more that you're going to get in return and the more raving fans you're going to have because my community is like raving fans. They back me up. They, you know, they want to know every single second, like what I'm doing when they get my email, they're like, Oh my God, camera, thanks for emailing me. Cause I don't email like constantly. I don't like bombarding people with emails. Everybody gets so many emails as it is. I only email when it's important. And I think my community really appreciates that as well. Nice. So, uh, I, I love that. And that strategy for branding, just over delivering, because you're right, a lot of hardcore old school marketers talk about holding a lot back and don't give them too much and, you know, give them incomplete information. But I think I think the shift has happened already, Kimra. And you're the one. I mean, you're you're proof that you don't have to go those old ways. Just be yourself, be you, give, share, love. And it does come back. Exactly. I wake up ready to serve. (laughs) But here's the thing. You're doing that. You're leading with your heart, but you're also using smart marketing 
right? It, it's not just giving, giving it. You still had a program, and you still charged for it. You still did it on a webinar. So you know, you're showing that by combining these two, the smart marketing with the giving, it really works. So I appreciate you being on here. Let me mention your site one more time. It is Kimra Luna, K-I-M-R-A-L-U-N-A.com. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Kimra, go check out her site. And we are going to be ending this. Can you believe this? These 10 minutes just fly by. But have no fear because you know it. Tomorrow I will be back every single day for you, seven days a week. Just 24 hours from now, you will hear another new episode of The Freedom Show. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe on iTunes and give us any ratings and reviews. Always appreciate any of your support. So that is.